We had but one boys game tonight at Palmyra as the Palmyra Mark Twain game got pushed to Tuesday due to weather concerns. Monroe City taking the early command at Hannibal's expense thanks to Cole Hayes with a three right here. Quinn Thomas provided almost all of Hannibal's offense in the first quarter. The first seven straight points including that triple but Monroe City taking the lead early and holding on to it. Quincy Mayfield bombs a three right here then check out the marvelous attack along the base Line from Trey Smizer who gets inside, somehow finds a little space high off the window and gets that to bank home. This much easier, Quincy Mayfield to a wide open Wayland Grave off the inbound pass and it would be Monroe City up 13-7 early. C.J. Anderson and Hannibal never really going away in the second half. Anderson with a modified hook shot and then it's Mason Hall with a bit of a teardrop. Monroe City though, late in the third quarter trying to close this thing out. Again, Cole Hayes, Good from distance in this one. Extends his team to an eight-point lead at 35-27. More to come right here on the transition opportunity. Quincy Mayfield's going to pull up and step back and, yes, launch yet another three to keep the lead at nine at that point. More to come. More transition fun. This time Cole Hayes. Little scoop shot in this one. And more from Monroe City. This in the fourth quarter now as Quincy Mayfield is going to attack off the pass from Cole Hayes. Get inside. But Hannibal just kept chipping away in this one largely down the stretch two straight buckets from cj anderson made it a one possession game which gave hannibal a chance to either win or tie on this opportunity but unfortunately for the pirates trailing 42 to 40 at this point they couldn't find the bucket that would either force overtime or give them the win as anderson shot rims off monroe city gets the victory tonight 42 to 40.